most of the time post game press conferences are just whatever they're vanilla comments and just like you know we're just out there trying to win a game all, all that stuff but sometimes when the levy's gonna break uh sometimes you get some spicy as muy caliente comments and justin freaking jefferson uh new nfl record holder for most receiving yards in the first two seasons uh he he, he drops some spicy nice nice uh sam ekstrom go I think we should be more aggressive as soon as we get down there in the red zone, said Justin Jefferson. But I'm not the one calling the plays. Woo! Woo! Now, there's a couple things here. There, There's a segment of the fan base who just does not like Justin Jefferson. I, I, I don't know why, but anytime he expresses any sort of emotion, it's just, oh, he's a diva. Oh, he's just like Stefan Diggs. Oh, he's just like Randy Moss. Oh, please, please. And we said this many times. There are wide receivers out there who just want the stats. And I think that Stefan Diggs is one of those guys. And there are wide receivers out there who want the stats because it helps the team win. Because there are some wideouts that, hey, if I got big stats but we go 0-17, don't care. Don't care. But th there's guys like Justin Jefferson's like, hey, I could have moderate stats and we'll win games, and that's great. But that's not going to happen because this offense needs to run through me. I'm one of the best wide receivers in the game. And guess what? As The more I'm targeted, the more we're aggressive on offense, the more that we win games. What a novel concept. And Jefferson, he is 100% right. He is saying the quiet part out loud. Everyone is thinking it, and I'm glad he said something. Because Jefferson could have easily sidestepped this one. He's like, oh, you know, uh, we tried hard. Uh, we'll just try and uh, win a game next time. No, no. He is correct here. And I, I know people will, will jump on JJ. He's like, oh, he's a coach killer. Oh, he's this, he's that. He's right. He is correct. And this isn't a selfish play. Guess what? He's saying they should be more aggressive in the red zone. And it doesn't necessarily mean him. It, it, hey, they could have thrown more to Gronklin. They could have thrown more to Thielen when he was healthy. They could have thrown more to KJ if KJ didn't uh, drop ball balls that turned into interceptions. He's talking about that as opposed to just running up the middle, running up the middle. And the Rams were ready for that, man. Running into the teeth with Gaines and Aaron Donald up front. No, that was not working. And also, just some of those pass plays, like that outlet to Ham was like, what the hell is happening? where you have the best wide receiver in the NFL. I don't care that he's being covered by Jalen Ramsey. I think what happened with Kubiak, who, you know, Kubiak has had his ups and downs his first year as an OC since taking over for his daddy. But I think overall he's been more good than bad, but he struggled. He has struggled in the red zone. He has struggled with play calling in the red zone. He has struggled with two-point plays. So I, I agree with him here. Like, I, I also I think Kubiak... He almost got this block in the back of his mind. He's like, I'm so scared of Jalen Ramsey. I'm not even going to try anything in the middle of this defense, which was a mistake. It was an absolute mistake because you're 2 of 5 in the red zone. You had only 10 points, 10 points off of three turnovers. That's because one of the turnovers, you started at the 11, and the other one, you were at the 12. So, yeah, he's right, man. He's right. The Vikings should not have had to be in desperation mode down 10 late in the game. They should have gone shot for shot with the Rams. They need to be more aggressive in the red area. Uh, that's on Zimmer, and that's on Clint Kubiak as well. Because just you knew. You knew. It was just going to be one of those days. I mean, the KJ fluke interception aside, you, you just knew that when they're settling for field goals, that it was not going to turn out well. Right. And Matthew Stafford's like, hey, you want the game? You you like the juice? You want the game? And then the Vikings are like, nah, nah, now nah, we're good. Just it's frustrating, man. And yeah, maybe this is showing uh, some cracks in the armor with Jefferson. He's certainly frustrated. And, and like we said, it's not about his stats. He is a winner. He wants to win. He is accustomed to winning. He said that before. And guess what? The Vikings don't start winning in these next two years. He will want to leave after his rookie deal. And that's the truth. So the Vikings need to rebuild the team. They need to build the offense around him and the quarterback of the future. And it doesn't, we misspoke in an earlier video. I was like, oh, it's a tear down rebuild. No, like you're going to build around Jefferson. You're going to build around quarterback TBD. You're going to build around O'Neal and Derrissaw. Maybe Wyatt Davis, Ezra Cleveland. Yes. DJ Wanham. Yes. Uh, Armand for Watts. Yes. Pearson Tomlinson for the next year. Sure. Eric Hendricks for the next couple years. Yes. That's it. That's it. But like, people are going to be mad at Jefferson for saying something that we're all agreeing on. Like Kubiak has struggled at times this year. They were not aggressive enough in the red zone against the Rams and ultimately it cost them. But uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Jefferson, whoo, 
bring the heat against the little coobs. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.